Hey everybody, Steph here. So let's talk about the origins of the Python programming language. Now, in the last vlog I put out, my Friday mailbag vlog, somebody said Python, the language, is not named after the snake. Now, technically they are, this person was right, and technically they are wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, well, I'll show you what, I'll sh we're going to get into a little bit about Python's creation story, just very quickly, because, you know, how exciting can the creation story of a programming language be, right? All right, so let's get into it. So here we are at the Python website, python.org. This is where you come to download Python. So let's, um, let's zoom in. Let's zoom in here. You notice the logo, snake, snake, two snakes back to back, right? So yeah, it's two snakes. Originally, the creator of Python did not name the language after snakes. The community has basically adopted a snake or a couple of snakes as its logo. So let's get into it a little bit here. Python programming, uh, here we go. This is the Wikipedia page, so see here, this guy here with the Google shirt on, drinking beer. This is the founder or the creator of Python. This guy, Guido. Guido Van Rulsum. And uh, yeah, so what happened? Here's a quote from the guy. And he basically decided over Christmas that he needed something to do. So he decided, hey, I'll start inventing a programming language. So this is classic nerdness. And uh, nerds like to write code. Now, um, he named it after uh, Monty Python uh, because he was a big fan, like all nerds at that time. You see, in the 80s, 70s, 80s, early 90s, if you were a nerd, it was almost required that you enjoy Monty Python, which is this British comedy group. So it says right here, uh, I chose Python as the working title for the project being being in a slightly irreverent mood and a big fan of Monty Python's Flying Circus, which was a TV show. So let's go to here. Here it is, Monty Python. Uh, these are the guys here. And they also did a bunch of movies in their day. Anyway, so you see this guy right here? One of the founders here. And I forget his name. This guy dead, this guy's dead. John Cleese, he's still alive. But anyway, this guy right here, and uh, what's his name? It's uh, Terry Jones, or is it Michael Palin? Anyway, whatever. So this guy right here, I saw him in an interview that he gave years ago, and they were asking about the origins of the name Monty Python. And it had to do, you can look it up on YouTube if you want, but basically what it came down to is that they needed to come up with a name that was funny, strange and something that the uh, TV executives would uh, consider acceptable. And they thought that Python was just funny with Monty, Monty Python. And in the interview, he mentioned they were thinking about different animals, cats and hippopotamus or something like that. And they came up with Python. So though the Python programming language was not directly named after Python the snake, because it was named after Monty Python, the, uh, this comedic group from the UK, from the UK uh, you could argue, since they were thinking of all kinds of animals and they just came up with a python, if you want to be nerd precise, and I know how nerds like to be precise, if you want to be nerd precise, it seems pretty clear that uh, the people from Monty Python named Monty Python partly after the python animal, the snake, because what you know python is not some word that means nothing it has a meaning it, it's they're talking about this type of snake so there you go so uh that's why i'm using this big green background here of a snake and i may use other snakes as well i may use other snakes now if i could use monty python uh, as visuals for the course i might do it but I actually prefer the snake because my studio web courses, if you've done any of them, you know I tend to use animals, frogs, spiders, uh, some other animals, sheep, you know. So why not use a snake given the situation? I also cut, got this cool snake mug as a prop for the course, so I'm not going to get rid of this mug uh, and get a Monty Python mug. 
even though this is a rattlesnake, by the way. I couldn't find a, an actual Python mug. So there you have it, folks. Python, the programming language, which is at version 3.6 as I speak, was originally created in 89, I guess, by this guy who was a big fan of Monty Python, which was a British comedy group and uh, not necessarily directly named after a snake, but the community, and as you saw, the Python logo is actually two snakes back to back. So there you go. So that's my uh, response to that nerd who was uh, in, indignant and, and offended by the fact that I had a snake background when I was talking about my Python course, which is, uh, it's gonna start rolling out pretty soon, by the way. All right, bye-bye.